Okay, so I was going to do an update video, guys, on this uh, Ford uh, 7.3 IDI 7, or, I said 7.3, right? <laughs> uh, this is the non-turbo automatic. It's uh, got 232,000 miles on it. And uh, the thing is, we put new injectors on, eight new injectors on each side. And see, we put new return lines in there. And the O-ring kit. We had to remove the water separator because it leaked and was cracked. But I heard somebody say something about that there could be this line here going down could be cracked down to the mechanical fuel pump. I don't know if that's the problem. But when you click this thing here, it goes, listen to it here. There. See, it's been sitting there since, I don't know, three months or whatever, the last time I started it. And you click on that bleeder screw and there's air coming out of there so i'm not a diesel guy i don't know what's going on but they put eight new injectors we didn't touch the injection pump now i don't know if i can get up here i could show you what it now anyway it's kind of oily there and there's the throttle system right here uh we did put a return kit there to it um I'm not sure, do you think this has to be timed? Because you've seen my previous videos, how it runs. It runs rough and smokes really bad. It looks like maybe an injector is putting too much fuel in there or something, making it run rough. And uh, it just does not want to run good. It just, it's hard to start and it runs rough. And when it's warm, it runs rough and it misses. And um, it, uh, the gold plugs I know do not work. I test them. All eight of them do not work. So I'm sure that's probably a good issue too. But uh, you can see it's the old 7.3. See, I don't know if you guys, how good you can read that. But that's what it is. It's an old 7.3. I think it's 185 horse. The water pump is shot. The whole fan and everything. See that whole thing when it goes? That thing's shot. It'll go through the radiator eventually. Um, the brakes are bad on there. Um, tires are bad on there. It's got the locked hubs. It leaked a bunch of tranny oil, I see. See that? And it's not really rusty. There, the tire's flat on this side. There, it's rusty right there, though. But, like I said, it's still in pretty good shape. Here power windows yeah that broke off that's a Ford thing it, I don't have the uh, I don't have the battery hooked up but it has 232,000 miles on it uh, we've never really did much to the engine but just um, put that fuel you know return lines in there it's four by four everything else it just doesn't want to run or start there it is, F-250. So if anybody has great, uh, I watched uh, somebody posted something about a power stroke help about the in uh, injectors getting oil and sticky and stuff. I don't think they're the same as a power stroke. So if anybody has any tips or ideas on that, I appreciate it, let me know. Um, like I said, the eight new injectors were brand new and tested and put in there. And the injection pump has not been touched or timed and uh, the mechanical fuel pump has been touched. The fuel filter has been changed. Um, I'm not sure what else to do. So it needs new battery ends, bad, they're shot. There's this one battery on there and I can't start it now because I know it won't start. But uh, down here is the mechanical fuel pump right down there and it's never been touched as far as I know, so. So, I don't know what could be wrong with it, but I'd appreciate it. I'm running out on Diaz. I don't think we're going to have the money to fix it. It's just uh, too expensive. Uh, we've already put new radiator in here, a belt. Um, can't think what else. The injectors, and then there was something else we put in there. Uh, but, yeah, it's getting up to already 2000 grand, and you you got to think, well... You want to put two thousand more grand into it, you know. That's usually how diesels are. It's not worth anything. So, let me know what's wrong with it. Appreciate it, guys. Any uh, seven three IDI owners out there would appreciate the help. Thanks.